Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today with Classic Firearms out here at Take Aim Training and Range, here to talk all about some battle rifle optics. Primarily talking about uh, the battle rifle optics because we're currently giving away one of the most famous battle rifles, the FN SCAR, the SCAR 17, of course. And this is one is famous due to good reasons, maybe, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. I think it's a pretty cool gun. I've become even more and more, I'm not gonna say a fanboy, but more and more enjoying this every time we give it away, every time we shoot with it, every time we collaborate with somebody. And we did work with Tim Kennedy on this giveaway. And especially now that all three of these feature a non-reciprocating charging handle. And also, as I'm looking at all these and we have them laid out here, in true FN fashion, they're all in FN different colors. Uh, FDE, FDE, and FDE, according to FN, that's all the same. Uh, do you think that's kind of funny? But anyway, what makes a battle rifle optic? And, Let's look at it this way. What is a battle rifle? A battle rifle ultimately at the end of the day is a carbine or a rifle that is a shooting a full powered car cartridge such as 762 NATO. Uh, Semi-auto can be full auto, of course. Uh, I mean, we all think about the FAL, right? The M14 has been a previous battle rifle that we've all loved. And uh, the FN SCAR is kind of like what we look at today. And some are even saying too that the current NGSW program that SIG is putting out with the Spear might be the newcomer when it comes to battle rifles. Do you think that's gonna take the place of the SCAR? Hmm. Anyway, so what makes the optic? It's gotta be robust, it's gotta be durable, especially if it's gonna be situated on the FN SCAR, which is known to absolutely beat the crap out of optics however that maybe without the reciprocating charging handle now maybe that won't be as big of a deal but it's still having a lot of reciprocating mass it's still just an abusive gun uh to the shooter it's not bad these brakes that they have though that fn apparently has a billion of those are those are a detriment and uh there's a lot of things that are better but according to fn if you switch up the muzzle device you've already the warranty not gonna stop me uh but anyway so the optic let's talk about the optic in my mind the reason i've got this scar set up that's our current giveaway the way we do is because i think this is pretty ideal without going too deep into switching out rails and stuff like that like i did on this guy over here which we'll talk more about that later but as far as out of the box scar throwing an angled foregrip on it and this trijicon package here with the three and a half power ACOG and the RMR is something that I like quite a bit. It's one that I find to be very ergonomic and one easy to use. However, one of my most favorite setups is the magnifier holographic setup, like what you see here with the EOTech and the EOTech's magnifier. I really like that a lot. And of course, pros and cons to everything, right? Uh, you don't have to have separate optics, multiple devices or anything like that whenever you have an LPVO like this Ford Vortex Razor that you see right here, other than just a mounting solution, but you have your one power all the way to a 10 power optic, which sounds fantastic. And again, we're gonna put these each through their own little test, or well, it's gonna be me testing them actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is, well, we've got a multiple target set up down range at different distances. I'm gonna try to engage at distance with the magnified optic and then switch over to one power, which all of these are capable of, either moving to an RMR, switching the magnifier out of the way, or just rotating the bezel here. Bevel, bezel, whichever one's right right now. And well, try to engage that target again. So again, distant, close, distant, all while trying to maneuver it and change optics. Should be pretty fun. I've got mags loaded up for days. Let's go run these drills. Simple drill. Gonna start at distance. I got the target set up here. Since we're about 10 yards in front of the firing line, I would say maybe about 90 yards ahead of us. Easy enough, right? This guy right here, about 15 yards or so. So what I'm gonna do is put three shots at the distant target, engage the close target, three shots, and then another three shots with the distant target. Again, going from magnified, non-magnified to magnified. Got the shot timer and well, let's just see what happens. Let's do it. Starting from a low ready. Ooh, trying to go fast. I need to slow it down for more accurate hit. So 14 shots at 1330. All right, that's the uh, first run with that setup. Let's go ahead and switch on over to the EOTech and magnifier. Let's do that. EOTech combo with the magnifier here. 
Let's see how we do. Starting at the low ready. Three shots. Yeah, need to slow it down some. Okay, 15.97 with 12 shots. Vortex next. The Vortex Razor 1 to 10 is up next, and it's gonna be kind of funny to do it with an LPVO. Uh, 1 to 10, yeah, the 10 power, if I leave it there, might really decrease my field of view, but I will be really focused on the target. We'll try it and see. And then switching, just to keep everything fair, switching back to one power to engage the close target We'll see how it goes. Now I did say back there that we would talk about this guy a little bit. And if you remember, we did like a ultimate scar giveaway a while back. And uh, now that we got the new ones in with the non-reciprocating charging handles, I figured maybe we could do a part two to that. And I've already got the rail, the kinetic development rail that extends the rail a little bit past the gas block. It's also M-lock compatible now. And I've switched to a BCM grip, BCM grip. But what else would you guys like to see switched out on this gun to make it the ultimate scar giveaway? What optic would you like to see? I'm probably gonna put a super scar trigger. What stock would you like to see uh, switched out here to replace the tactical Ugg boot? Let me know. Okay, let's run this drill here. Let's just start at 10 power. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, so the 10 power is not my favorite. <laughs> really having to take the time to actually find the target there. 20.17, definitely my slowest time. I think I could do better, but initially without really warming up with all of these optics, I do believe that my Trigicon setup has been my favorite so far. Three and a half power seemed to be a really sweet spot for me. That illuminated reticle that's on the ACOG works really well. Also with the RMR, I don't have to actually mess with any controls. I don't have to mess with another device like I do with the magnifier. I just switch to my red dot by just moving my cheek. Hmm, I think I like that quite a bit. Let me know what you guys think you prefer and uh, yeah, just sound off down in the comment section below. So coming back from that drill or those drills with these different optics, uh, pros and cons to each of these. For instance, the LPVO honestly makes the most sense because you have the most amount of capability with this optic. You have your one power just by rotating the dial. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Uh, and you also get all the way to 10 power magnification with this setup. I personally love the Trigicon VCOG also, either one to six, one to eight. They also make them second, first focal plane, whatever you want, right? It makes sense because you have all of everything all within one unit. The moment you start to add different optics, then you have to start changing your placement of how you're shouldering the gun or how you're getting your cheek weld. On top of that, that's maybe extra batteries you have to think about, perhaps. Uh, but at the end of the day, the Trigicon ACOG with the RMR setup is one that I'm very comfortable with and I love a lot and kind of one of the reasons I went with it for our current giveaway. Very durable optic, set magnifi magnified power. I don't have to worry about where I'm at with it if I need to rotate it or change my magnif magnification really quick. And that's kind of a benefit with the magnifier with the EOTech setup because, well, it's also a set magnification of three power. So anytime I rotate this out of the way, I'm now just getting my one power with the holographic, which I can just run very easily and then flip this over, I know exactly where my magnification is gonna be because I only have that option. But it is a second device that I am having to mess with in order to remove or get that magnification. But at the end of the day, which one is the best for a battle rifle optic? That's gonna be for you to decide and whatever your mission might be. For me, I, I love this. I love this setup. This is the one I'm gonna go with uh, every single time. And I really would like to maybe get like a different perspective and maybe we could do that next time as well and perhaps Katie's gonna let us in on that that's just that's pretty cool it's, it's pretty cool that's Katie. <laughs> okay that's Katie's perspective then it's pretty cool and uh 
maybe for a part two to this, you guys would like to see a little bit of distance thrown in with this. Maybe that's where we would see the vortex really shine and where these others might start to fall away, especially the one without any bullet drop compensation or anything like that. It's just, well, hope, right? Okay, cool. I'll leave it off there. Uh, again, this is our current giveaway that we've teamed up with Tim Kennedy on. And Tim does like running an offset red dot on his as well, uh, but his is more, I think, I think he was running a canted one on his SCAR 16. Which leads me to another question. Would the LPVO with an offset red dot be superior? Because then you can actually set your magnification, change it if you want, and if you need to engage a target quickly, you can switch to that red dot quicker. That might be where it's at. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What type of distances would you like to see shot with the SCAR 17s here and these optics? And don't forget to utilize the code word TIM whenever you go to get your entries in for the SCAR that you see right here for obvious reasons. ClassicFirearms.com is where you can get those entries. I'll see you guys soon. As always, we appreciate in your business. God bless. And I'll see you down in the comments section all about battle rifle optics.